Alright, uh, what's going on guys, uh, Moxification here, so today uh, I'm going to show you guys how to set up uh, RPC tools, you know, like, just when uh, a tool like, for example, um, the tool that I did a video on two days ago, the MW3 one, uh, and any other, basically, any other tool, you know, to, that you connect your JTAG, uh, well, you connect the tool to the JTAG and then you can mod stuff, um, an RTM tool, you know, real-time modding tool. So how to basically set them up, like how to get them working. Now, I did do a video on this a while ago, and I just I want to do like updated videos on these topics because I feel like it's needed. I feel like they weren't the greatest, and you could always hear me breathing down the mic, like uh, like in the Minecraft one. Uh, I I had a Minecraft tutorial uh, on how to do. Uh, mods and stuff and you could hear me blowing down the mic you know because obviously i didn't understand sort of the I, I don't know i don't know just the mic stuff you know i didn't really understand it so uh yeah so this is basically how to set up um an rpc tool so to start off we're going to get an rpc tool so i've got one uh that i use fairly often called dios um and where is it this is the folder uh and what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to open it up open up the tool so diosmods.exe uh, minimize and uh, if I click connect it's gonna try and connect and it's unsuccessful connection unsuccessful cannot connect uh, and the reason it can't connect is because my Xbox is off but if you um, don't have uh, what's it called if you don't have neighborhood set up or you don't have um, like any plugins like RPC tool plugins um, then you won't be able to connect it anyway. So if I turn my Xbox on, it will connect. So I'm going to turn my Xbox on. I'm not going to connect it yet. I'm going to show you guys how you would set it up, basically. So uh, to start off, you'd find out what um, uh, what uh, I don't know what they're called, uh, what plugins you're going to need. So this tool, I think, just uses. Let's find it. I think yeah, RPC. Normally, you'll have the plugin that you need to use. So I'll open up Neighborhood. You you want to get neighborhood 100%. If you don't have neighborhood, uh, then you need it. You need neighborhood to set up uh, and use RPC tools like DIOS. Um, and basically, um, if you don't know how to set that up, I'll put a link in the description on how to set up neighborhood. Uh, I did do a couple of videos on that. Um, and I might even do another video on it soon because uh, even then, you know, the videos were still kind of bad quality and stuff and I didn't really explain it to the best I could have but uh, anyway so uh, what you're going to do is you're going to get the uh, for DIOS it's an rpc.xex you want to get that rpc.xex you want to open up neighborhood which I have here JTAG retail hard drive emulation you want to find your launch to INI uh, which is here drag and drop that to the root of your uh, not to the root I mean to the uh, to the de uh, desktop or somewhere that you can find it uh, very easily. Uh, minimize out the neighborhood. Uh, you want to open up the launch to INA. You want to scroll down to the plugins. Now the plugins is uh, really easy to find. It will just be like it's just called plugins, and then you have plugin one all the way down to five. What you want to do is you want to put RPC.xex on one of these slots. Now m with me, um, I actually use. Um, uh, JRPC and JRPC lets you have more plugins um, so I do recommend using JRPC but if you don't you know if you don't want to use that or whatever for some reason uh, just stick it as one of the slots but I've already got it in a different uh, like application thing um, but yeah just stick it on one of your uh, plugin slots I would assume that if you haven't like worked out how to use uh, RPC tools yet you haven't got many plugins you've may maybe got one you've maybe got maybe a stealth service something like that but uh yeah so th stick rpc.xex as one of the plugins um and then save it save the launched ini then you want to go to your uh, on your retail hard drive emulation again on neighborhood and you want to get the rpc.xex and you want to dra uh, drag that and drop that uh, in the um in the root of the hard drive. I've already got one there because you know I I use these tools all the time. Um, so just it, it won't come up yes at all unless you've already got one there. In which case it should be working. 
um, and if it's not working you might need to get some other um, uh, RPC things for example JRPC uh, you might need XRPC depending on what the tool is you know it might need a certain thing to run it like um, uh, I think the what's the one uh, the tool Xbox 360 is best it uses XRPC I think I'm not 100% on that but certain tools use certain things and that's why I have all of them. I have RPC, XRPC, JRPC, JRPC2, I think. Um, actually, maybe JRPC is JRPC. It's a JRPC2. But, uh, and I've got XDRPC and all of these other ones, you know. Um, and that's why I've got all them other ones. Um, because they all use different things. The tools use different things. So I recommend having all of them. And you can find the actual plugin online. It's not difficult to find them. Uh, but yeah. So once you've done that. All you want to do is restart your console. Uh, and that's. You can either you know press the on and off button. But uh, I just. It's quicker to do that. Just right click reboot and cold reboot. And then it turns off. And then it turns back on. And I'll open up the capture card. I mean, the capture card we don't even really need to uh, do anything with, but it will show it coming on when it comes on. Uh, it's coming on right now. Uh, here it is. And, it, yep, there you go. We're on. So, basically, now now it's on, I'll be able to uh, I'll refresh the neighborhood just to make sure that it is connected. As you can see, it is connected. There's no question mark. Uh, now, we can open up. We've already got Dias open. I'll exit out of it. Um, and then I'll open it up again, uh, Dios, and now it's going to connect, and it's going to say, there you go, connection successful, um, I mean, it already was going to work anyway, because my console was set up in that way to make it work, you know, but, um, yeah, now it's going it, to, it's going to work, and if you have any problems, if this was really unclear because I already had it set up and I didn't I did show how to do it but maybe maybe you might still have problems just a uh, comment and I'm sure that someone will help you or I'll help you you know and I do have Skype I'm not on Skype often I've noticed that I only ever sign into my uh, Skypes maybe I've got about five Skypes and I'll sign into maybe four of them um, not even once every day maybe once every two days and I'm normally on the Skype Swaglord Moxa or Moxification. And sometimes I sign into the Moxa business. And just really quick before I end this uh, video. Um, I uh, For Moxa business, don't message me um, about non-business related stuff. I know this is sounding like bad. But um, so many people have messaged me and, you know... On, on that account and it's strictly business you know so if anyone adds me and asks me about non-related business stuff then it, it will be the block you know like this 100 percent block because it's it's purely business you know there's no it's got business in the name you know but yeah hopefully that uh, makes sense and uh yeah don't add me on that if you're not talking about business but uh yeah so add me on swag lord moxer if you need any help and also make a comment and also make a seven sins post on seven sins the seven sins uh, the seven sins community are really helpful um so uh yeah so that's about it uh thanks guys moxification and uh hopefully this tutorial helped you and if if it didn't like i said just make a post on seven sins comment and add me on skype uh so uh yeah that's about it uh thanks guys moxification i'll see you guys in the next video uh goodbye